So now that we've covered the basics of our hypothesis testing, uh, we're ready to be able to start talking about how to do two sample hypothesis testing. Okay, so in a nutshell, here is what we are going to be doing. So previously, we've basically been saying, like, here's our population. And let's go ahead and take a sample. And we've been trying to, from this sample, we've been trying to make some inference. about our population. And so previously what we've been doing with our like null hypothesis is we've said that the true mean is equal to you know, some value and then our alternative has been that the true mean is you know it's either going to be greater than less than or not equal to our null or our hypothesized mean. And so when we've done this, we basically took a sample, tried to collect some data, and we you know, did some statistical testing, we did a confidence interval, and we did some inference about what is happening about that population. All right, so that's kind of what we've done with one sample testing. Now when we get to two sample testing, it's a little bit different. So in our two sample testing, let me, uh, let me play this up just a little bit. So we still are going to be taking samples, um, but our hypotheses are a little bit different. So what we're doing here is instead of just saying that our means are equal to a specific value, instead what we have is we have, this would be our population one, this would be our sample one, and then we have another population, we'll call this population two, and we'll call this guy sample two. And instead of comparing our, uh, instead of comparing our results to some hypothesized value, now what we're going to do is we're going to compare these results to one another. And what we actually are saying is that we're going to say that mu, we'll put this as mu1 minus mu2 is equal to mu not 1 minus mu not 2. Okay, so what we're going to say is that we are going to say that the true difference uh, between our two groups is equal to some hypothesized difference between the two groups. Uh, most of the time those differences uh, we say that they are that they're zero. Basically the baseline assumption is that these two groups are equal and we're trying to see uh, once again if they are less than, greater than, or not equal to one another. So let's get that up there. Yeah, so we grab these samples. And we're basically testing to see if these differences, this is the comparison that we're trying to do. We're trying to see, are they, um, do they actually have uh, the hypothesized difference between them? 
So that's kind of what, what we're doing. And what's cool about this is that we've got a couple of different options uh, that, that we can do this. So we can do a um, we can do a testing with our proportions. So we can do two sample proportions test. And <clears throat> we've got a couple options here for our means. We can do two sample means and we can have one where they have equal variances. And one where they have unequal. Now, one that gets categorized a lot of times as a two sample test that we decided to categorize as a one sample test was our matched pairs testing. Uh, and we'll, as we talked about uh, in our previous videos, we talked about why we decided that we wanted to categorize that as a one sample um, test. But oftentimes, like in software and things, if you're looking for how to do matched pairs testing, uh, you actually need to go into the, the two sample menus to actually find that. Um, but for, for our class, we really have just these three tests that, that we are going to be working with. We've got this two sample proportions, and then we've got two sample means, and the two sample means are broken down into two, um, two competing methods, one where they have equal variances and one where they have unequal variances.